Oh my god. China tech stocks continues to get slammed with stunning losses that wiped out hundreds of billions of dollars in the market. Should you buy, sell or hold? When John F. Kennedy famously declared, in the Chinese language, the word crisis is composed of two characters, one representing danger and the other, opportunity, a crisis communication credo was born. Should you be selling off all your China holdings or should you add you China position? In this video, I am going to share some of my views. China Communist Party halted the IPO of Ant Financials, the fintech arm of Alibaba. They cited technological and business issues. In layman terms, Ant Financials is posing threats to China banks, of which many are state-owned. CCP proceed to fine Alibaba 2.8 billion United States dollars for unfair monopolistic practices because Alibaba restricted merchants from doing business on other rivals platform. This is like an act of bullying because Alibaba is restricting other competitors from operating. Tencent is the largest online gaming, social media, venture capitalists, e-commerce company in China. It got fined spreading sexually suggestive content involving children. Government also ordered Tencent Music Entertainment to end its exclusive licensing deals with global record labels and fined Tencent Music US$77,143. After that Didi got its app suspended in China due to illegal user data collection and violation of data protection rules. The biggest problem is Didi was reportedly advised by China's cybersecurity watchdog to halt its initial public offering and review its network security weeks before the company made it New York Stock Exchange debut. They got slapped because they decided to press ahead with the IPO. Lastly, China's for-profit education sector has been under scrutiny as part of Beijing's push to ease pressure on school children and reduce a cost burden on parents that has contributed to a drop in birth rates. All institutions offering tutoring on the school curriculum will be registered as non-profit organizations. Online tutoring firms being subjected to extra scrutiny and after-school tutoring will be prohibited during weekends, public holidays and school vacations. Curriculum-based tutoring institutions would also be barred from raising money through listings or other capital-related activities. The whole China's for-profit education sector got massacre. When we invest in China, we need to remember China is not United States because the political situation is different. The Western investment approaches and their checks and balances does not work in China. Many US companies have also tried to exploit loopholes in the past and nothing really happened to them. The United States government cannot do much because of democracy. It is a different story in China. Let me tell you why. China is about the Supreme China Communist Party. The word communist already tells you the story. This is like the ancient China dynasty where the emperor's edict is the law of the country. You cannot ask why or what but can think how to do. In China, the China Community Party makes strategic decisions based on the interest of China. It is a top-down approach and if they think that your company is not needed, it will be gone. Companies need to be aligned with the China government's long-term strategic plans. This is simple to understand. Let me explain to you. Rule number one. China Communist Party do not allow monopoly hence all the unfair monopolistic practices will be stopped. There must be real competition in order to deliver value to consumers. This will be good for all the industry in the long term. Rule number two. Data governance and cybersecurity will be extremely crucial. This is not only to China but many countries are also practicing this. 
China Communist Party will ensure China companies use data securely and data must stay within China. These data must be made available to Chinese government at all times. Rule number three, companies that are detrimental to the social good of the China will be punished or destroyed. Some of these includes adding burden to their property sector, banking system, education system, healthcare system, agriculture, etc. Okay, now I understand. Ant Financials and Alibaba flouted rule number one and number three so they got punished with a big fine and Ant's IPO is halted. Tencent Music flouted rule number one so they got a lighter punishment. Didi flouted rule number two and refused to listen to authorities hence they got a heavier punishment. Many education companies flouted rule number one and three by creating fake competition and stress to children in the education system. As such, the whole industry totally got destroyed. Wow, thanks for the explanation. I should have known earlier. What should be the strategy? Personally, I will still continue to invest in China because I believe in their long-term potential. However, I will use the following approaches. Firstly, invest in a broad China ETF such as Lion Global OCBC Hang Seng Tech ETF or the Lion Global OCBC China Leaders ETF. I have made a video about the Lion Global OCBC China Leaders ETF and I have attached a link below. Investing in a broad ETF reduces risk because you don't know which companies or sectors will be whacked next. This will be safer for investors who are not familiar with investing in China. Second, I may invest in a fund that is familiar with China investments. One example is the Bailey Gifford Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust. Bailey Gifford is a 113-year-old company and have made early investment in China unicorns such as Alibaba and Bitai Dance. I have made a video about Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust before and I have attached the link below. Third, always diversify your portfolio and not buy only China stocks. A broad-based investment in global equities would diversify and reduce your risk. Lastly, if you want to invest in individual company, you have to understand their underlying business. It is better to own the Hong Kong listed stocks as compared to the US listed ADRs. With that, I end off with this video on why I think China will continue to do well. Please like, share and subscribe as I will be sharing more investment and money saving tips. Oh!